short tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. Yozlandi Izquierdo, 28 years old, two years younger than the tractor. Rafaelo Oliveira, three inches taller, is Izquierdo. He will have a slight reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee for this lightweight fight. There she is, the beautiful Ariani. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's go, come on! And here we go. They start early in a big left hand thrown by Izquierdo, the southpaw. That's a hell of a name. Yeah. Yoslandi Izquierdo. Yes, sir. Izquierdo with a very nice body kick. Answered by the tractor yeah, looking for the takedown. Nice knee to the body and good timing there. He waited for him to get up. Excellent discipline, Joe. He's got a very hard left body kick, Mike, from that southpaw stance. But as Oliveira stands in the orthodox stance, it's opened up for that power kick of Izquierdo. And he throws it with bad intentions to deliver. That is an advantage for the southpaw fighter. If they're a good kicker, the other advantage is the straight left, which he has landed continuously here early. It's also just a, a weird stance for the other opponent to get used to. If you're not used to fighting a guy who's a southpaw, everything's coming at you the wrong way. The jab's on the wrong side, the, the kicks are on the wrong side. And again, he, that, that strong back leg kick. And Oliveira has him down. Very nicely done. And Joe, you could clearly see not once but twice Oliveira wants this fight on the ground. Yeah, I don't think he likes standing up with that guy. He's got long reach, good power behind his techniques. But Oliveira is nasty on the ground. Very solid ground game. Trying to pass, could not do so. Nisguerno brought him into full guard here. Oliveira was trying to get to the side, but... Izquierdo has uh, a lot of redness in that right eye, Mike, almost like he's been poked in the eye. Oliveira moves right into side control. Up against the cage. And you hear Mike Constantino saying, don't rush it, don't rush it. Oliveira is a serious technician on the ground. Now that he's got him there and he's got him in position exactly where he wants him in a dominant spot, He's going to look to lock something up. He's looking to try to lock up an arm, Mike, and, and try to turn this into a mounted crucifix and perhaps either rain down some ground and pound or open him up for a potential submission. Push him down on the, on the knee now. Look to me like he's trying to mount him. Good job with the hips. See how Oliveira keeps shifting his hips when, he's, when he thinks that Izquierdo's trying to pass? Knee to the belly. Izquierdo's trying to keep those legs high in defense of Oliveira's potential of the mount here and now Oliveira trying to get him away from the cage a bit well he's gonna have to get him away from the cage a bit just to get room for himself so right that he can mount him and he's now he's got some uh, a better position here he's got his arms wrapped around the legs here good control he's gonna lock on that right arm he's trying to lock that right arm you hear them saying that he has two minutes to go here which is plenty of time if he can get something Got that right arm isolated now. Let's see if he can do anything about it. Notice how he's got the left arm underneath the arm. <laughs> and this Gerdo is trying very hard to get out of the situation, but Oliveira is the superior grappler here. And he's looking to improve his position and try to lock in a submission, but he's not he's doing got an a lot of damage. He's got an Americana Joe. here. He's got an Americana. Can he lock it up? No. Uh, Iscaro did a good thing, and he pulled it up higher towards his head. What Oliveira wanted to do to, to get the torque into that, you have to bring the elbow down to the rib cage. It's hard. It's hard to lock that up while a guy is fresh because he's just resisting and pushing it across, and he's mounting on it. it, and he got it. Oh, just nope, for a moment. Off. Nice hip escape and pushed off. Great Very job. Nicely done by, done by Iscaro. Good athleticism there. And pushing right forward is Kierdo. So Oliveira worked, finally got the mount for a split second, and that actually was an opportunity for Iz Kierdo to escape and, and get back to his by feet. Oliveira. Final minute of round one. Good counter left. The one thing Hafi Oliveira didn't do, Joe, he didn't really have any ground and pound to his attack. Oh! Izquierdo, beautiful job, nice going with the momentum, the yep. throwing Oliveira right over the top. 
Izquierdo loves to fight here. He just threw a crescent kick. This the last time we saw one of those. It's been a long time. Nice straight left by Izquierdo. I, I like the variety of his striking, mixing it up. Looks very loose and comfortable on his feet tonight. This is what he wanted to showcase. Good, it's hard straight, straight left. Hard straight left by Izquierdo. That's been his best punch so far. He caught Oliveira again with that. Just missed with the uppercut. Final seconds of the round. And here's the left that misses. And Oliveira goes for the take now. Now watch this, Mike. As he's taking him down, Izquierdo gets the double underhooks, recognizes what he's going to do, and goes with the momentum and throws him right over his head. Beautiful job of capitalizing on the momentum by Izquierdo. Everything you're doing on the ground is great. Patient. That's your round. Let's not give away any, okay? Your round. Don't give away any. Right? Let's go with the left hand. Right? Mm -hmm. golpe. Tienes que darle uno duro, duro con tu mano izquierda. Dale eso, lo que desmayale la mano derecha, desmayale la mano derecha adelante y pum, métele la izquierda por el centro. ¿Ok? Y cuídate, cuídate de la. No, no te le tires muy para arriba para que no te haga el, el take down ese bajo. I don't speak Spanish, but that sounds badass. You know what? Sounds as like long they're as excited. He understands, right? Yeah. It sounds like they're very excited. Bótala, bótala, bótala. Second round, you ready? You ready? Let's go, come All on! All right, we continue. Izquierdo with a lot of success in the first round with a straight left, he throws it here. Oliveira. Oh, I like how he mixed it up that time, Mike. He caught him very clean. With the one takedown, Joe, where he was really able to try to work some submission attempts. Yeah, he stepped in with like a half jab and then came behind it with a straight left. That is an old school Roberto Duran technique. Caught him with the left again. That time a hook. Head kick by Oliveira. I love the pressure that Izquierdo oh, keeps on in the stand-up game. Nasty knee by Izquierdo. He's confident in his hand. Yeah, he's winging that left hand. And there's the Perfectly nice takedown. Timed. This time, Hoffi recognized what he did in the first round. It didn't allow him to do that same technique again. He took him down flat more than pushed him forward. Perhaps anticipating that, uh, that reversal attempt. And he timed it perfectly knowing that Izquierdo was really aggressive and coming with a good pace with his striking. Well, Rafaelo has time to work here. Three minutes and 47 seconds on the clock, but he's got to make something happen here because clearly in the stand-up game, he, he's losing momentum. It's he's like bleeding, a, he's yeah, got a cut, a cut on his forehead, but yep. he's got him inside control now. Trying to lock that arm up again. Trying to move into the mounted crucifix position. But Izquierdo is waiting for a moment to explode, and there he goes. Look at this! Triangle from the bottom by Izquierdo. Not good, but an attempt. Doesn't quite have it, but... You see how quickly he exploded into that position? And that's what Izquierdo is looking to do. He looks to just look for the little opening where he can try to get back to his feet or hip escape or move it into a, a better position. Which is what he did in the first round when he was mounted for a split second and slipped out the bottom, got right back up. Oliveira keeps going for those arms. He keeps going to try to pin an arm down. He, he's got a limited number of attacks here from the side control. Joe, would you, and he's starting to a little bit, would you like to see him try to soften him up a little bit more with some ground and pound? Well, you know, or, you know, isolate, isolate a neck, you know, go after his neck, go after something else. He keeps trying to go after these arms and Izquierdo just pushes him away right. or moves him and manipulates Get that neck! You know, you, 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 it's, it's much harder to defend a choke than it is to defend a Kimura or an armbar, an Americana, especially a strong guy, let's get, there he goes, he goes for it again. But see how Izquierdo gets the elbow up high, Mike? Right. What Oliveira has to do, that's not good. He's got to bring it down to the rib cage. You can take a tremendous amount of torque as long as the elbow is above the shoulder. When the elbow drops down towards the, towards the hips and, it, and attaches the rib cage, then you have a very short tolerance. There's a small amount of movement before it rips your shoulder apart. You, see, you were, talking, trying you were talking about that very thing at the Fan Expo yesterday. Yes, I was. That exact Perfect position. Example. Yep. Yeah. And that's something like where we were talking oh. about judges have to yes. recognize what is important in a, in a scoring aspect. I guess yeah, we're gonna, Mario's going to take him to get a look at that cut. 
A lot of elbows from the ground thrown by Izquierdo. It must be pretty bad if Mario was having him stand up and take a look at it. He says he's good. Back to the same position. Nice elbow. Reluctantly, Izquierdo goes back to the ground. All right, back to the same spot. Now he's softening him up a bit. But you know what, it's hard, it's hard for him to rain down shots because every time he gives Izquierdo even a little bit of room, Izquierdo hip escapes and pops and moves and tries to explode out of there. Ninety seconds on the clock here in the second. Well, this you know this is scoring for Oliveira, but yes. he, he has not been able to do anything as far as like get really close to a submission. I mean, it seems like he's dominant on the ground, and when when I see that, I would I would like him to go for a fight-ending move. Would you say Izquierdo has been close to dominant on the feet? Yes, I would say he's definitely got the momentum on his side on the feet. I think Rafaelo uh, had some good shots. He landed in the first round, but it seemed like towards the end of the first and especially in the second, the momentum is on Izquierdo's side. He just seems to have more power, more explosiveness. And here, Hoffi doing the same thing over and over again, trying to get this mounted crucifix. Izquierdo too strong. He escapes. Same thing again, Americana. Now, look, see how Izquierdo moves the elbow? He moved his body down to put the elbow up higher. Instead of trying to pull the elbow up high, he just scooted his hips down. What that means to me is that Oliveira does not have real control over him. Got some shots in that time with the ground and pound. About 20 seconds now. He wants to mount a crucifix again. He's again going for that Americana. You know, and every time he does it, he doesn't have control of the body. So every time he does it, Izquierdo just hip escapes a little bit and his arm's safe. I mean, there's so, so little time here. Final seconds of round two. Whose round is that? Your round. Why is that your round? Because you finished strong. Because everybody was wrong. Because you finished strong in the second, you're going to finish stronger in the third, right? You're strong. And you're going to finish this guy, right? Right? That's your round, right? First is up in the air, the second's yours. We don't finish until we're done, right? Right? What do I want you to do? Keep the pressure on. Cuando le das el golpe, da el paso atrás. No se te olvida ese, Orlandi. No se te olvida eso. When he comes in, you gotta move back. Tenemos un round y un round. You have one round, he has one round. You gotta take the third round. Me estás oyendo? Can you hear me? Take it, you want it. Overcome this round. This is your time. The takedown Rafaelo Oliveira had in the second was when he slipped under the punch from Izquierdo. And Izquierdo ended on his back the rest of the round, Joe. So it was one takedown. But he worked it for a couple of minutes. Izquierdo yeah. knows he needs to stay on his feet. Rafaelo had excellent control in that round, Mike, but really didn't didn't come close to finishing it. Same with the first. Yeah. And he had more control in the second. Well, Izquierdo is very strong. You can see by the way he moves his arms when Rafaelo grabs a hold of him. It's really hard to control one of those limbs. And Izquierdo nicely done. Izquierdo's throwing shots now, but it seems like a little bit of pop has is, is come from those shots. Lost some steam because of the struggling in that second round. That kind of a grueling grappling battle really puts a lot of blood in the muscles and, and it makes those punches come much slower. And Hafello's got him again. Nice and down done. again. Full guard, though. I would like to see Rafaelo chain submissions together, use more variety in his, his submission attempts. He was just constantly going for Americana or Kimura, Americana or Kimura, the same wrist control over and over again. Three takedowns for Oliveira. Two in the first, one in the second, now one here. Pardon me, three, one in the first they credit him, one in the second and this one here. Well, if Oliveira can stay on top and keep the ground and pound going, he should have this fight in the yes. back. It's a big if because he's scared of so explosive on his back. But again, like we said, he's probably a little more tired in this round. 
He's had about a round and a half of ground control against Izquierdo. All right, now see, when Oliver has him stacked like this, I, I would like to see him try to pass. Not, don't just stay here all turtled up. Because Mario Yamasaki may very well stand them up if they don't try to advance here. I'd like to see Oliveira try to, there he goes, now pass. Now, okay, now even better, north-south control. I want to see him grab a hold of a neck. Grab a hold of Isquero's neck. The same position, the side control that he keeps getting over and over again. Unless Isquero's arms are significantly more tired in that first round or second round, uh, then in the first or second round, I don't, I don't really think he's going to be able to lock it up. Izquierdo was able to get back to his feet in the first round. Was not able to do so in the second. Nothing yet here in the third. Working Same that arm thing. again. Same thing. See how it's uh, up high? His number one concern should be pulling that elbow down to the rib cage, But he's not doing that. And it's, you know, it's probably because he's extremely fatigued and he's just doing his best to hold on to it. Izquierdo pushes off, sprawls. Can he get back up? Good no. job by Oliveira. And he's going to mount him here. He does not get over that knee. Is Kierdo pushed off again? That's the way he got up in the first round. Started karate at age 11. Did Is Kierdo to deal with asthma problems? We saw some of his striking, but he can't keep Oliveira off the top position. Again with the north-south control. But I, I want to see Oliveira attack with something else other than this same Kimura Americana attempt over and over again. Especially in the north-south. North-south chokes are becoming more and more popular. There he goes. Now he's got a mounted crucifix. Now this is a legitimate position here. And Izquierdo's in a lot of trouble here. He cannot defend. This is what he's wanted for the better part of 12 minutes. But again, he went to go for that Kimura and almost lost the position. He it's went for that same move again, the Americana, and, and, and lost that position. The same double wrist control. You can make, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it two different things because you can mix it up. and do two, If you twist it behind the guy's back, it's a Kimura, you bend it back this way, then it's an Americana. But see how Izquierdo does it every time. He just slides his hips down. Izquierdo, though only Joe, now has 30 seconds to work. Izquierdo almost snuck out the back door there, but his head's trapped. But look at him, he's trying to sneak out the back door, and Oliveira follows him around the corner. Izquierdo's very strong, Mike, very strong. He's trying very hard to explode out of this. And they're right in front of us here. Rafaelo again has that arm, again trying for that double wrist lock control. You know, this should go to Rafaelo yeah. just for control and a much-needed victory for Rafaelo Oliveira. After consecutive setbacks, a good performance tonight. A relieved Rafaelo Oliveira and his corner. Ground control, the difference in this fight. Some good takedowns from Hoppy. Yeah, it was all about the grappling and ground control in the last two rounds. Izquierdo is a dangerous striker. So Rafaelo did a really good job of ducking under these shots. And here's in the second round. He ducked under that, got a good takedown, but I like how Izquierdo grabbed a hold of his waist here and threw him over the top, utilizing Rafaelo's momentum to reverse the position. And Izquierdo, again, throwing hard shots, but Rafaelo got under it and didn't allow him to get that double underhooks there that time and, and try to reverse the position. And then here again, Rafaelo gets him up, down, and controlled him on the ground. Got the mounted crucifix for a brief amount of time, landed some good solid elbows from the top. Just mostly good control and grappling by Rafaelo Oliveira. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Rafaelo Tractor Oliveira. Second UFC win for Rafaelo Oliveira as he wins tonight, defeating Yoslandi Izquierdo.